Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we've got a special adventure because Bonzo, well, he's strapped. You're looking good. He's got the old pew. He's got the pew, and he's wearing the shoe. You know what I'm saying? The old, the old one, too. These frogs aren't ready. Speaking of that, we are going to be doing a little bullfrog hunt, folks. Have we got anything under the old moat? Sometimes I've been, I've been seeing some bluegills, and I mean, I've seen some bass under here. It provides them with some nice shadiness, um, but I don't really see much. Anyways, today's episode plan is to... Oh, there's a bluegill right there. Hey, how you doing, Rick? See you later. You got any frogs right here? No frogs along the shoreline huh i don't see any in the weeds bonzo is hungry so we are going after some bullfrogs that is the plan today um but we're gonna do it a little bit different so normally when we do bullfrog hunting videos we either use a pew pew um we gig them shoot them with a bow blow dart gun but we're always on the shore so today's video we're gonna mix up and we're gonna go out on the boat and explore the bullfrogginess that's up and around there because honestly the only place we've really got bullfrogs at my house in the backyard is this area because that's the only space you can really get from the shore so we're going to try you see one he's scanning bounces on glass dude he's glassing right now and uh so we're gonna go take the boat out and try to get some frogs but we're gonna be doing a couple different things so bonzo's got the old pew pew but i'm gonna be using the old-fashioned rod and reel so if you guys saw um like i think probably the most recent video would have been the puppy fishing video where i caught one with a frog you can catch frogs with topwater frogs believe it or not i'm going to fish for bath and if we see a bullfrog chase my frog i'll try to catch it and if for some reason it keeps missing it then bonds has got the old pew pew and we're going to give him the old one to punch that's the plan but before today's video gets started i want to say huge thanks to carl's bait and tackle for sponsoring today's video if you guys want any fishing gear rods reels lines lures whatever it might be up to 30 percent off retail price the cheapest out there the cheapest spot to get any fishing gear whatsoever it'll be linked down below go to shopcarls.com like so i'll leave the link down in the description we're going to be using the good old-fashioned guggen squad frog today which you can actually get on their website shopcarls.com like i said link down below so huge shout out to those guys for sponsoring today's video they are helping us do what we do every single day which is great content for you guys and like they they help you guys out as well by giving you up to 30 percent off everything on the website so click the link down below go check it out we're gonna get out there we gotta swap the old battery in the boat we're gonna head out look for some bullfrogs and we might be it's kind of a tradition i feel like where we make weird foods during our catch and cooks we do like the main course and then our appetizer or dessert is kind of an odd thing and i don't want to give it away yet but it's something i never heard of old pool jet old florida boy he he said he randomly we were up there eating earlier and he's like hey you ever had this and I'm like, the do what? You ever, what's it called? The but fluffer butter? Fluffer nutter? I don't know if any of y'all know what a fluffer nutter is, but you Nebraska boy don't. So we're gonna do fluffer nutter and another dish, a, a classic, like, I don't know, carnival dish. What did we do that was a classic carnival dish? We did deep fried, deep fried Oreos, classic carnival. So we got another one of those coming. So today is gonna consist on of catching bass, catching frogs, cleaning, cooking frogs, and then making a bunch of random weird eats for you guys to sit back and enjoy. So you guys stay tuned. I think we've maxed capacity this sucker today with the old extra 150 pounds of freaking catfish food. Speaking of that, let's go fill up the feeder. Hey, how's it going? Land hole, boys. Oh, I did. Water came in on the side. Did you see that? I was just about flipped it. Let's get the old. Oh, that's hotter than heck. Should we move it to that corner? It'd probably make a little more sense. You stay here and hang to make sure the boat don't float off. Me and Banjo got it. Ew. Oh yeah. Whisker food. This should last us a while, hopefully. Oh yeah. I think the fish are trained. I think we just need to pay Banjo to come out here every day and do this, huh? What if the catfish just started going off right now? Be kind of neat. We should probably make sure this thing works. We'll do a little test run. Oh, there's bluegill right here. Oh, oh! I just watched a bluegill put it in his mouth and then spit it back out. Oh, look at him. He's right here. See him? Watch. Boom! Oh, he ate it. Oh yeah. He ate it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. He ate it. Oh, this is a good. This. Oh, they're munching. They're munching. They're munching. Oh, this is a great sign. Oh, rip. That's crazy. Bluegill we're eating, which is the goal. I mean, we want bluegills and catfish. All right, let's see you out of here, boys. That one dude who puts rubber bands around like fruits and stuff, and then it's just like waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I hit test. All right, let's see what this dude Hickey thinks doing. Come on, put the best on that one. Push us off. Says 10. Yeah, I. Oh, God. Hey, Rick. Oh, hey, Rick. Oh, hey, oh. hey, hey, hey. Hold on, Rick. Hold on, Rick. Hey, hey. Ow. <laughs> Banjo in the back. He got it. Why'd you put me closer? Yeah, I, I mean. The 10 was the, uh, how long I think it ran for. I think you had to hit test twice. Hey, it works. Let's try to catch some fish. <laughs> Here's the old lure of choice. Guggen Squad Money Frog. You can get this at Carl's. Banjo, you see? 
I'm gonna start calling you Banjo now, full time. Even with, without the AirPods, you're, you're Banjo. You see any frogs? Yeah. Where? Oh yeah, Big Chungus. Oh, Big Chungus, okay. Come on, Chungus. Oh God. Merc, Merc, Get it. Merc. Get out of here, Ricky. Woo! Oh God, it's just about tipped. Come here, Junior. It's just that easy, folks. You think this Guggen Squad frog, it don't only catch fish, folks. It catches frogs. Big old juicy, delicious looking frogs. And then reach into the old pant pocket, get yourself some pliers. And the easiest way to unhook a frog, okay, grab, get a hold of the hook that's, that it's hooked through. So this guy, he's hooked right in the bottom lip right there. Rotate it to where it's out and give it a flick. Hey, easy, Rick. Easy, Rick. There you go, folks. One frog down, Banjo. Hey, hey, easy. You see, oh, that, you see the keg on the left? Is that what you're seeing? Yeah. All right, Banjo, he's got the gun. Oh, you got him. Yes, sir, he's toast. All right, let's go, let's go find that guy. Right there. Yep, yep. Oh, you blew his high, hind legs out. Oh, yeah, that's good for you, too. Y'all saw that in black and white. Hey, that's two. Yeah, the bombs has got, we got, we each got one, so we're gonna start working our way. That was kind of like, we just saw him right away, but I really do want to catch some bass, and then once they see frogs, try to catch them, so stay tuned. Oh, oh, I got a frog, Bonzo. I see it. He's interested. Oh, yeah, you got this. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, he jumped over it. Kinky boy. Come here. Rivet. Leap frog. Rivet. Rivet. All right, we'll, we'll save him. He, he didn't look that big. He's like a medium size. Oh, this is gonna be the money shot. What did I say? Yo. What did I say, folks? Yes, sir. Big in. Yes, sir. Big in. Yes, sir. The old money. Woo! Money shot. I called it, folks. Right under that bush. Look at that. You've got a little salad with his dinner. Well, first largey. We've seen one frog. See you later, Ricky. But he, he, he was a kind of a swing and a miss. He kind of jumped over it. We're letting him go. He wasn't a big enough. If he was a big and he jumped over, then old Banjo's back there with the old pew pew, ready to take care of business. So we got two frogs, one bass down. All right, so I'm gonna throw this up on the bank, see if any of the frogs, there's gotta be a frog around here. This looks too, I bet the frog, oh, I think I can see one. Banjo, I see one up in the shadows, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try, I'll try to pull him out. Oh yeah. Got him, got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What up, Junior? Hey, Rick. How you doing? How's that old money big frog? Old legs. That's big old leg boy there. See how he eats it? This is easy peasy, folks. And you get to catch a bass at the same time. This is good. This is a good time. I like this. Two favorite things in life: a little bass fishing and a little frog leg getting. Hey, easy, easy. Hey, hey. In you go, buddy. Oh, see you later, dude. All right, that's three. I say we get two more. We're going for five. So far, so good. Oh, largey. Caught me off guard. I was not expecting that at all. That was a good size. That was a good, good size one. Oh, look at the. Fr oh, you know what it is? It's guarding fry. Can you guys see that? See all the fry right here? Right here. Oh, I see all the fry. Can you see all the fry? Yeah. So it's what, what, what's happening. Those are bass. Okay. See the bass? He's right there. You see him? He's right here. He's back there. It, that's the male guarding fry. Uh, and I threw a top water and it makes it look like I'm a predator eating his fry. Oh, yeah, I see pissed. the bass. See him? Oh yeah, he's looking. See, he's guarding the fry. So a top water like this makes it look like I'm attacking his fry, which obviously I'm not. And that's why he ate it. So that is a bass guarding fry right now. That's, look how many bass hatch. That is incredible. That is crazy how many bass spawned right there. Like thousands, but a lot of them will get eaten by either bluegills, by bass. Obviously they're not all gonna make it, but that's crazy. I caught that he was guarding fry and that's a really good way to, ca to catch guarding, bass that are guarding fry, throwing like, Kind of like a, a fluke style bait's really good, throwing a lunker log, something weightless, or a top water that causes commotion. It makes it seem like it's a bluegill busting and eating their babies and they get pissed and they bite it. So, oh, there's a bass right here. I bet he's garden fry. Yep, see him? See him? Oh yeah. Got him, oh my gosh, you ever, oh no! You ever sight fish a frog fish? I don't think I've ever done that before. You're kidding me. That is wild. I don't know if I've ever sight. That's you see how he looked at it? He like got real close. So that shows you like what actually a fish does when it bites your frog. He like waited for a second and kind of sniffed it and I twitched it again and pissed him off. That's crazy. So now we just kind of cruise the bank looking for frogs and bass. So it's almost like you're you're bed fishing for bass, but the males and they're just garden fry. I don't think I've ever sight fished a frog fish before. That was pretty neat. Banjo spotted a frog. I'm gonna get this one or I'm gonna try. Then he's gonna shoot the last one. I wanted him to shoot one where it's kind of easy to get to. I'm not super far, which this guy is, so he looks pretty good size, so here goes nothing. Ribbit. Come on, ribbit. Oh, he's scared. 
Oh, rip! Got him. Oh, flying frog! No, rip! You see one? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, I see that. That guy? Oh, I'll go ahead and hammer that one down. We'll go get him. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, rip! Oh, he's toast. He's toasting my ghost. All right, let's go get him. Yeah! Oh, yeah, he's toast. Rip. There you go, number four. We got one left. I'm hoping to catch a big Bertha. But all the big Berthas are out deep. They're not up shallow where all the frogs are. It's, it's pretty cool, because like I moved here in, in August, so the, the fish weren't spawning. It's cool to see the kind of cycle of everything going on. It's a really late spawn. Though. That's crazy that they spawned that late. Well, see if we can catch another fish or get another frog. There's one. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go, son. Choo! That's a little dark bass. Kind of looks like one of them Florida fish. Look at that. Little squeaky McGee. See there, Rick? Well, that's, what was that, bass number two or three? We need to get banjo. Oh, uh, that's kind of a far shot. See big chungus in that little shade patch right there? You, you throw in there, pitch in there. I guess I could probably get him. Got him, got him. Oh God, oh, I, my life flashed before my eyes, folks. I thought I was taking the frog to the nipple. That would have been a bad deal. Got him, come on, come on, come on. Get in the boat! Ew! What up, Reggie? Mm, mm, mm. He's pissed. He's got some fat legs. He's got some legs though. Yeah. His body just ain't that big. You thought you were you were getting a mate, didn't you? <laughs> Excuse your language. Alright, open the old bucket. One, two, three. Oh rip! Hey, hey, no rip! No rip! No! Oh rip! Where's the gun? Son of a gun, we lost one. What the hey, hell? Hey, I bet it wasn't one of mine. <laughs> oh no, rip, 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 no, rip! Hey, Jimothy. Hey, hey, easy, you son of a. What'd he do? He pee on me. You kinky boy. Oh, son of a biscuit. The rack to four. Oh, rip. Well, frogs are intelligent. Got him. Come on, Jimothy. Come on, Jimothy. All right, we're not letting you go. All right, I gotta, I gotta hold of him. Phew, we're good. Congrats, Bonzo. Let's go eat some frog legs. Boom! We got old Ricky here. So I'm gonna show you guys how I clean frogs. We, we finally got smart and got the old catfish skinner. Definitely makes life a little bit easier. So right here, we've got a googling squad knife. And what you're gonna do, take your knife and just make a cut right here, just along the back, just like that. You wanna cut it just all the way across. Go ahead and cut all the way down, down the sides. Then take your little skinners and you're gonna grab them right here onto that skin. Now you just hold them over the sink and just give them a Give them a nice pull, like that. One steady pull, and there you have it. So joint right here you're gonna wanna cut. Same thing right here, just cut the feet off. Boom, flip them over, cut right here. If you have a pair of scissors, it works a little bit easier, but basically you separate, separate the legs from the body. There you have it. Boom, give them a little rinse. And that right there is some delicious farm pond frog legs. So we're gonna get the rest cleaned up, and yes, stay tuned for the cooking port portion part. Is that English? All right, we'll roll with it. Oh, we're, oh we're rocking at 17%. Let me go grab another battery. Fonzo, you know what I love about your shirt? What do you like? I don't even have, for transitions, just. You just, you just zoom in. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, we got a new battery. We're good to go. So, your fluff or nutter? You have no faith in this. No, I don't. He has no faith no, in this. No, we have no, no one has faith here. No. This is you. You, we're switching spots. You come over here. Oh, okay. We're going to see Chef Pool Jet make me a fluff or nutter. Never thought I'd ever ask for a fluff or nutter, but here I am asking for somebody to make me a fluff or nutter. So, I like this. Just talk. sitting here <laughs> watching. I'm tired of cooking. You, you got this. This oh, is the Pool Jet episode. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm chefing the whole thing. This is nice just sitting oh, here. This is neat bread. It's, is it nice bread. and soft? No, we're not. Do you want to toast it? No, toast no it, however you make it on the daily. When's the last time you had this, by the way? Oh, it's been a, a little bit. So like before I moved here. Oh, so not so, like maybe six months to a year. Yeah, something. Like this that. is it's so weird. Like it's so uncommon that there's something a food that I've never heard of that seems like such a household food. Like oh, yeah, yeah, there's gonna be foods that maybe like on the East Coast, West Coast, but this is like a common thing. There's three ingredients: peanut butter, marshmallow fluff, and bread, and they're called fluffer nutters. And apparently it's a thing. This and is a like thing. he has you like you. This isn't just like a thing you make. Like you actually. Oh, no. No, I didn't just make this up no. in the old shower. No, this. <laughs> you think about fluffer nutters in the shower is what you're telling me? Sometimes. How much so, peanut butter do you like? Is the, the, I, I want this how you oh, like really? it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, get the old fluff on there. Oh, I'm getting the old fluff on there. Don't you worry. Okay, this, dude, this does not look, unless you want to fold. That doesn't look good. 
It, Tell me this doesn't look good. It just <laughs> Austin's not a fan. Old Banjo's not like it. Banjo, me and Banjo. What would be bad about it? Do you want me to cut it in half for you too? Cut it in half. And so me and Banjo can. Which way do you like it? Cut diagonal, or are you like a half? I'm not a serial killer. Diagonal. What do you mean? Let's Jesus, go. How do you cut this? There's bread way diagonal? more sandwich when you cut it sideways. It's scientifically proven. You, you want to split this with me? Cut no, that in you half. Got the whole you thing. gotta make another one for you. Are you gonna make another one? Oh. Sure. Macy, you want this? I mean, I, I don't need the you, whole thing. You, 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 might, it you might like it enough that you need it. Though. That's my point. You can, can make another one. Cut I can always make triangles if you're going to split it in half. That's why I said force, but you guys have half. <laughs> what is that face? It's a little chewy. No. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get, get the, the real meaty part. Mm. He's taking three bites, so what does that mean? Got it. Okay. God dang, kids almost done with the sandwich in two <laughs> bites. It's not a race. <laughs> Jeez, nice. What do you think? You like it? I'll have anything with marshmallows. It's pretty good. I mean, you just taste the peanut butter mostly. But yeah, it's a lot of peanut, a lot more, of peanut, more peanut butter. More peanut butter than anything. Toast it? I think toasted would be better. You think toasted? I've never with toasted it. So maybe. It's not bad, though. It's I, better I than you thought. I need it again. So I was trying to get the old pans going. Um, just <laughs> playing camera guy, you know, just stepping up the game here for everybody. But, give me, can I get a bite? Can I get the last bite? People need my opinion here. Kind of forgot what it tastes like. Look at that ooziness. Yeah, bring some freaking water with you. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> she's, a, she's a chew. It is good. <laughs> to me, it's more like it's more of a dessert than it is a meat. Like, uh, it's just very sweet, you know. Oh yeah. Good snack. It's a great snack. Good snack. Afternoon snack. Oh, yeah. Like post nap. Snack. Oh, As if I take naps a lot. Uh, it's better than I thought. Jeez. It's better than I thought. I'm, you guys got to go try your your nutter fluffers. Oh, they've all had it. Don't you? You know think it? so? Oh, Have you guys all had it? Come down below. If you've never had a nutter fluffer, <laughs> <laughs> a fluffer nutter, you guys let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've if you've never had it. It's pretty good. Anyways, one of the next thing, which is gonna be, you wanna do frogs or do you wanna do the next thing? Frogs, I need some not sweetness. Bonzo needs some meat in his mouth, so we're gonna get some frogs going. Boom, there you have it folks, look at this. Platter of frog, this is like, you guys wonder what goes on in Bonzo's head during his dreams. Looks about like this. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually go straight into a light flour. This is gonna dr basically just dry it up. You could probably add some salt and pepper, we're not doing that. Well first, we gotta mix the eggs. Give them the old whisk. All right, now that they're all whisked up, take your frog. And then go ahead and just give that a little dunk. But then over here, this is our seasoned flour. This is basically spicy buffalo seasoning inside some flour mixed up. And we're gonna put it on our little shaker. So go ahead and make sure you get all the excess off. See how good that egg's sticking now that you threw some flour on there? So you basically do that as many times as you can fit on your little shaker. And hopefully, you probably could get this done in about two batches, I think, in the old fryer. Two, hopefully. So we had, what, fr five five frogs. We had a one leg go MIA. Bonzo shot it. My bad. So that would be nine total legs. So I'm lay that guy down That's there. Good math. Was it? Yeah. A lot of times it's way off. I know. And I just act like I am correct, but most of the time I'm not. So kind of do this. Once we got this filled up, we'll just start giving it a shake and you guys stay tuned. So we've got five legs on there. Go ahead and peel this sucker up. You gotta make sure she's sealed, otherwise it'll look like it's freaking snowing in here. Give it a shake. This is a little hack, basically, to make sure you get perfectly coated. Especially frog legs, they're kind of tough to get the nice coating on them. For some reason, they don't stick that well, but so far it's looking pretty good. All right, open her up. Oh yeah. Look at that froggy goodness right there. Excited, Bonzo? Oh yeah, they look great. Look at those. These look straight fire. The old, how's this thing going? Nah, not really very close. So let's go ahead and get the rest of them done. All right, throw these guys in there. We've got to cook it around like 315-ish. I don't know what the proper temp is. They say for fish, it's 300. Figure these are a little bit burlier than fish. We're gonna load up the old fryer here. All right, that's good enough. Here we go. In they go. Meow. Delicioso. <laughs> Look at these guys. Golden and Chris. Probably these are always tough to get the batter to stay, but they actually stayed pretty good. So, we're gonna set those guys down. Throw these last three in there. Get all golden crispied up. And we'll let these guys cool off. And we'll crush these. And then we still, I'm full. Anyone else? I'm hungry. I could eat all those frog legs by myself. And dessert? Yeah. This kid's a beast. Oh. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? I, didn't know I'm just, I was about to sing happy birthday and you were just on your phone over there. All right, go ahead. I'll let you pick. Which one's the first batch? These are the most recent batch. So okay. I do these guys. Over here. 
Oh yeah. Oh. Best part right here. The old, the old nug. Everybody loves the old nug. Is it good? Mm. Amazing. This right here, for those of you guys. This right here, that little piece. That's the old nug. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Nice and spicy. A little spicy buffalo action. Mmm. I'm glad we got five of them. Yeah. I'll meet them all. These are fire. Pretty good. Better than calf, the last catfish we had at the... Oh, 10 times better than the really? catfish. Really? A little bit better than catfish? Oh, that catfish is no bueno. No? I think this better than grilled. We had it grilled last time. Ooh. I don't know, it's pretty good today. Yeah, this is really good. Like, that, that spice it, is good spice. today. It's a yeah. spice. Yeah, we got we, we nailed the spice today. Oh, yeah. I would say it's pretty pretty darn good. So, there we've got the old frogs done. I know, this video is long. Bonzo insisted on a three-course meal. We had appetizers, which was the fluffer nutter. Nutter fluffer. Nutter fluffer. Fluffer nutter. I'll get it. Then we got the frogs. And then, last but not least, we've got pancake batter. What are these called? Funnel cakes. Funnel cakes. Yeah, I'm just... All I could think was fluffer nutters. It's been a long day. Funnel cakes. We're gonna try to make homemade funnel cakes for dessert using pancake batter. So, the final dessert episode segment starts now. All right, we're starting her off here with a little oil. Maybe a little more. Yeah, that's probably fine. But anyways, we're gonna heat this oil up to approximately like three, I think it needs to be like 360 or something, but let's 365. make some- 365. 365? Yeah. Okay, all right, so then over here, we got a quarter cup of water. You're gonna put a full cup of pancake mix in there. Then you're gonna take one tablespoon of vanilla. Bonzo, you wanna grab me an egg? Banjo's on egg duty. There you go. Crack a decent sized egg in there. You're supposed to give that an old mix. So this is actually just add water pancake mix, but we're adding more than water. We're adding an egg and vanilla. Apparently that's gonna make it better. I'm not really sure about it, but go ahead and give this a little mixy mixy. All right, let's see how hot this is. Supposedly if you drop, definitely not hot enough. Oh yeah, oh, she's hot. Is it really that hot? It's not It's not even sizzling. Wait, it's supposed to be... 300. Oh, put it back on there. You would think I'm intoxicated, but I'm not. All right, so we're gonna put all this batter into a bag. Good enough. This is really full. It's a, it's a full bag. Give it a little cut, just just a little cut. Right there? Yep. All right, Banjo, you ready for this? Yep. Look like a professional. I went to a uh, funnel cake school. You went to school? No, I didn't go to school. Impressed. You're impressed, and we know it. What do you mean we're burning it? We're golden and crispy, but where's the old powdered sugar bomb, though? We need that. Look at this guy. You, you doubted me. You doubted me. You can admit it. You can... Sometimes it's okay to admit you're wrong. All right, Banjo, here you go. Look at that funnel cake. I mean, I've, I've never seen a better funnel cake in my life. All right, we got powdered sugar duty. All right, I'm gonna let you do that. There you go. There you go. Boom. All right, pour another one. Maybe I can make this one better. Those circular motions you're thinking? Squeeze it harder. It actually goes a lot further than I thought, though. Like, I thought it'd be like one or two yeah. of these. Like, you could probably rip four of these suckers out of here. Dude, this smells good. You, you, rip, you, you wanna eat it? You can, I mean, you can stick I that. I don't think it's too hot. Stick that thing in your mouth. Wow. Is it good? That's amazing. We need to do this more. Okay. All right. All right. It's good. Whoever's idea this was, good idea. Whose idea was it? I think it's yours. I don't know. This tastes like a fair funnel cake. Like, there's, I wouldn't know, like, a difference. All right, we're going to go for the old flip here. The old flipperoo. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. -y. Number two. This one's a little bit more golden and crispy. That's how, that's how you do it. We're just gonna empty the old bag on here. Perfect. We killed on the first one. Second, third, garbage. All right, last one. There you have it. This one looks like, that looks like toast. This is how I expect, tell me the first one we killed, I don't know what the deal is. This one, that ain't it. That don't look very good. You ready for this, Banjo? Yo. This is hot. Okay, this one's better. First and third. Finn, second one was garbage. Finn, why do you have a cone? Poor guy. Finn's got a cone because he, he got, they shaved his arm and he had a little cut and he keeps bothering. Anyways, you gonna have another piece? Sure. It's hotter than crap. No, you got Finn. Finn, Finn. <laughs> no, Finn. Finn, no. 
That's not too bad. First one's first a little one better. better. Yeah. This one's crispy though. It is golden and crispy. You guys want to make pancakes? What is this called? A funnel, funnel cake? cake? You're struggling. It's been a long day. If you guys at home want to make funnel cake, that's how you do it. I would suggest turning down the oil just a little bit. The first one was good, but then after that it got a little, a little hot. And get a better way of squirting the 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 deal on there because bonzo and i were splitting we had like two directions going yeah, and it just it wasn't the deal anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's frog fishing slash shooting episode remember go to shopcarls.com linked down below if you guys want any fishing gear whatsoever if you have bullfrogs at a lake or a pond and you want to catch them and you can't use pew pews which most places you can't or you don't want to gig them at night get yourself the old guggen squad frog it catches lots and lots of bullfrogs hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching Peace.